Okay guys, I'm going to just shred these uh, leaves up that I said I was going to do on the last video. So once they're out the way, that's fine. But I did mention this and I just can't live with it any longer. I'm sorry. The hedge is completely... I don't know if you can pick that up. I can't really see it on me on my camera because it's uh, the sun's glaring. Look at the angle. Look at this from here. Up. So <clears throat> what I was thinking is really... It's the wrong time to cut these now but i'm just going to do it i'm just going to do it i'm sorry because i can't go through summer with these like that it's unbelievable so if i just take over now people will think the same about the hedges as i'm thinking about the hedges when i've turned up they're just going to think what's this gardener playing at so i'm sorry i'm going to take that gamble and, and cut them now this one i'm not really fussed about this will be fine it's pyracantha but the others are uh, knitted there which is a lonicera, so it's the ones that are misshaped that I showed you. I'll take it over in a minute anyway. But yeah, I'm just going to shape a few up. I just I just can't go through the summer and cut them. The, the knitter that is really supposed to be cut uh, late summer, which I know that. But you know what? <clears throat> We're going to do it. And that's that. So I'll do. I'll shred these up. I won't film that. And then uh, we'll cut the hedge. Right. Well, that's the uh, leaves shredded up. A lot of them were a lot wetter than what I thought, but never mind. Um, I don't have to get this brilliant because I'm going to be cutting a hedge again in a minute over it. So we'll get this up and we'll utilise our new compost heaps already. Right. <laughs> and as you can see, it's almost, well, it's not rotted, obviously. It's chopped up, ready to go. Brilliant. Love a bit of compost. Right, well, I'm ready to do that now, but yeah, this is how daft I am. I'm, I'm choosing a hedge to cut on the inside where probably no one will even notice it's been done. I'll notice it, so that's most important. Or oh, just as important. Look at this one. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's get to it. I'll get them sorted. <laughs> Okay, on with this one now. Yep, let's straighten that up.
Okay, what I'm going to do as well is I've just took a slight bit. You can see here where I've took it off, right? It didn't need much, but the bottom is still in a lot more. Now, obviously, over there, it was it was out by, I'd say, I'd say more than a foot, I'd say 13 or 14 inches. So that needed to come off the top. But here, what I'll do is I'll let that grow at the bottom. So that I'm going to let the bottom grow out and I'm not going to cut the top. Well, you know, I'm going to keep cutting the top, if you know what I mean, but I'm not going to cut the back at the top anymore in. I'll let the bottom grow out and that'll be nice and straight. So that's basically done. There's not much I can do there. This is going to have a nice sharp corner on it. Uh, that's all done. And then that would look at the little, um, what is it there, Sparrow? Or wasn't a Robin, was it? Whatever. Um, I'll shred this up now. Really should have brought the other mower. You know what I mean? Mulching mower. This is a mulching mower, but I mean the big heavy duty one. I'll try it with this. I might, I've might. i got the ride on with me. I might even have a go with that. If it doesn't do it, I'll just leave it where it is and uh, bring the mower next time. So let's crack on with some of these hedges. Like I said to you, it's not really, I will admit, hands up, it's not the time to do the knitted, yeah, the misshaped one over there. That really is needing, in need of doing. And plus it's by the door. So, but there are a few just little straggly bits that I can get today. Whereas the hedge doesn't look like it needs doing, which it, it probably doesn't. Look at this again, leaning house. Look. Some might say it looks okay because it's still neat. It is neat, I cannot deny that. But it could be better. I just don't like that idea. Maybe, right, I'll contradict myself here. For a hedge around a perimeter, like over there, I think it's got to be straight. Straight, straight top and straight sides. Here, although it is on the perimeter, it's sort of like in the corner of the garden. So really that could be like a shrub, if that makes sense. So it could be a shape, but I'm still not happy with it. So it's still going to be cut. Looks like I'm staying in this little corner, doesn't it, for today? Well, not all day. I'll get the, some of this ivy cut off the garage or whatever it is, because that's a nice saw. That's going to need doing. So I'll get that off now. And maybe those laurels. Okay. Getting there. Well, I've shredded this here using the ordinary little mulching mower and it's done it but it was struggling i don't want to wreck the machine because uh, i am using it to cut the grass so i'll leave this in situ i'm sorry about that folks but uh, it's not what i like to do but i haven't brought the machine with me i've brought the ride on mower and that's all that fits on the trailer so i can't right i've just wrecked this place here as well <laughs> i say wrecked tried to get the, the mower on here and it's digging in digging in all i need is a block of wood or something there but I've just had to cut the things to get it on. So I wanted to get the machine on. And I need it on in the future anyway to do this one. So I will get a block of wood for there. If I can find one today, I'll get it on. So if I can't, I'll leave that. I've cut the ivy down there. Looks a little bit scruffy because of the dead leaves. That'll be fine. And then I've cut the round there and a hedge round there. And there's those hanging baskets that I mentioned on the... If you're following me on Facebook, if you don't, why not? So the six hanging baskets on the lawn, which are going to be a nightmare when you're cutting the lawn. So, there we go. Anyway, I've just cut this little hedge here, so I'm going to blow all this up and then cut it all on here. Well, I did end up taking the mower over this bit. Um, it did struggle a lot, so I'm not going to do that last bit, definitely not. So I just put the mulch under there, which seems strange because I spent time taking leaves out. But there's a big difference. With le as I keep saying, you've got leaves and then they're just leaves. You shred them up and put them back. They're still the leaves, but they're a mulch. So it's completely different. Going to leave that. Okay, so I'm just going to walk back all around the site now and see what else needs doing, like pruning-wise and really whatever. <laughs> so I've seen a bit. Well, guys, I'm going to cut the video here because uh, I have been working for hours and I haven't been filming. But what I've been doing is I've been hoeing all the borders and there's plenty of borders in here. And I've been a bit of pruning as well, by the way. Um, but I haven't straightened any of these hedges because I can't go around straightening them all. It's just taking too long. And that's obviously put me back, shredding those leaves this morning and cutting those hedges. It's sort of like half the day's gone. So I've just gone round the borders and they're absolutely full of weeds and there's still leaves on them because remember when I'd done the tidy up and I was blowing everything out, it was just too windy. So I left half the leaves in. Anyway... I've gone around the buzz, as I say, but what I've done is I've left all the weeds in. I'll just show you this little bit here. The likes of this now, all these little weeds in here now. What I'm doing is I'm not taking them out because I've been in this border for like at least an hour or so. So what I'm doing is just literally softening the ground up with this. Uh, and I'm using this little fork. Remember, I went through the hose 
a long reach for because um, there could be bulbs or anything like that still coming up. So obviously I'm just going through it and I know there's weeds in it, but I'm leaving them in because I'm here next week and the ground will be softened and I can just go over them easier because obviously I'd like to get all the sites hoed rather than just a couple of beds uh, weeded and hoed. And then, you know, so all, as I say, all this has still got to be hoed here. But I won't bother showing you all that. So I'll, I'll leave you now. But I will be putting some videos up, some better ones, um, in the progression of this job. So this is just, as I say, just to give you a flavour of what's happening. And I've got to straighten more hedges and obviously bring the big mower with me. So you'll see all that. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to watch this. This is called the Retirement uh, Block. So see you all on the next video.